Hello friend, this is Vithal. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create the one simple MNC application by step by step. Since this article is uh, totally focusing on beginner, so I will start it from step by step. So if you have some experience in MNC application, so I advise that uh, do not watch this video. It's uh, watch my another videos which are uh, which are teaching you advanced level. So it's for only for a, player, a beginner who don't know how to create the simple MSC application. So to make them aware about the MSC folder structure and how to create a MSC application, what folder does what. So for that purpose, I have decided to uh, decided to deliver this tutorial. So first, we need to go from this uh, start menu from this new project, or you can select it from the file file menu new project and <clears throat> and after it it initializing the template now select ace.net web application and uh, suppose i am uh, giving the location in another location suppose suppose i am specifying the location in my projects and uh, give the uh, our MSC application name I suppose I am giving the student stu student demo okay student demo now after defining the name of your project click on ok button if you clicking on ok button it's it's showing the different project templates that is empty web form MSC BAPA single page application Azure Azure API app preview, Azure mobile service, and then after S5 preview template is empty web API web application. These are the different templates which are available under the web application web application project. So uh, what are they? We will uh, learn on later or let us discuss what are they. So web form is the our ASP.NET application. Uh, which which uh, it is a, a pure ASP.NET application having the .aspx form. This one is the uh, this one is the uh, uh, MSC application that is model view controller application. It is a web API web API project which creating which is useful to create the restful services. This is a single page application. This project your uh, project template for creating rich client side JavaScript driven HTML5 application using ASP.NET web API single page applications provide the rich user experience which includes client side interaction using html5 css3 and javascript and now these templates are added new azure api app microsoft azure api apps provide you rich platform for hosting rest api as well as api marketplace in which you can publish your api so customer can find them and easily consume the consume them from their own mobile web or desktop app or use to dependencies in their own api apps and this is the azure mobile service project templates for creating the h project bvp based on mobile backend for microsoft azure mobile services and these are the some new templates these are pre uh, preview templates this empty is for empty project template for creating the h project 5 application and this project is for creating the restful http service that can be reached broad range of client including browser and mobile devices and this is for web application project template for creating the exploited file application the template is exploited msc and can be used to build the web application and restful http services so this is overall overview of the, this template so we are going to create the empty empty msc application so beginner can understand it so let us check on this empty empty application template and check on this MEC so it will create the ASP.NET MEC uh, empty solution click on ok uh, uh, it's to, uh, taking much time for creating the application maybe it's looking for the some dependencies uh, such as uh, entity framework and all so let us wait for creating the project now with it will require uh, 2 or 5 seconds now it's created so let us see <coughs> our ASP.NET MTs uh, ASP.NET MSC application is ready that is let us see how to, uh, let us understand the folder structure of this uh, application these are the all the folders you know 
sp.net is consist of model view controller so what are they let us see this is a controller this is a model and this is a view so what are what are they does uh, we will see step by step first of all uh, we will we will understand this folder structure and as well overall overview of this uh, demo application so let us let us see this is a app star folder app star folder is uh, nothing but it contains the all the all the configuration which is required to required to run the is present mc application is now there's only one file uh, it's contains maybe another more file this is a route.config file it's it's decides the route <coughs> routing url of our asp.net applications so how it will be url looks how it will be route all these things will be specified here in controller so this is a structure of the url which will be route whenever the our asp.net application is get started now this is a controller folder controller folder is nothing but the it is a class in which you can write the uh, write the actual logic uh, where where to uh, where to move a particular view where to redirect where to insert data all these things will be uh, done in the contro uh, controller all this type of logic is done in a controller folder and this model is nothing but the uh, similar to our get set properties uh, which we are uh, which we are using in asm rotate application and other projects so uh, here in models we can define a get set properties uh, i used this get set properties terms in uh, to understand you people so here only define the get set properties with extra validation attributes such as uh, using the data donation and all these things and we is nothing but the actual actual page which will be rendered to towards the user view contains the all the user experience such as a list of records and all these things it will be contained in the views views may be a uh, uh, .css html dot uh, vb html that is called a razor engines so this is called as views and this is uh, global world aspects as you as you know uh, whenever the application is started first event is started is application underscore start so at the starting of the application it will register the all the uh, all the uh, routes and all the areas uh, areas here so this is all about this global.asx file and this is a web.config file where you need to define the application level configuration such as connection string app setting and all these things so this is for the this is for the total folder structure now let us let us start from uh, adding controller and views and all before going going to uh, somewhere so let us add model first how, how we can add model is nothing but the view already decided it is a simple class let us see how we can add this model that is class but uh, what template have I created this is a class simple class so so let us let us give the name student s t u d n t student okay so uh, student model m o d l this is name for i have given for the uh, understand developer purpose you can uh, name any as you wish now this is uh, this will create the one simple class so i will a public class and now define some properties i can define you can define suppose this will be name name sorry string <coughs> name now it's a name and this will be class class suppose i have decided two properties here two proper two properties which are get set properties so these are the properties which is defined in the student class student model class as i already explained this is similar to the get set properties of our normal asp.net applications so now decide, uh, define the some validation on it so to decide validation you have a using system dot component model dot component model dot data annotation which contains the all the classes and classes regarding the validation so how validation we can do uh, 
we need to define the attribute suppose i want to i want to create name as a name as a required field validator then i can show that error message student name is required student name is student name is required are okay now also i can define number of attributes here to validate this property uh, such as suppose i want to <coughs> i want to make it uh, max length all these things we can define here how many characters it allows all the all this validation you can do in this model class suppose and second one also i will make here class name is require so these are the two properties uh, with validation i have added in model class so our model class is ready now build one so it can be generated dll so it will create some time building build is started oh build build is succeed now we have created model class i hope uh you uh, you understand about how we have created model class and how we have added the validation for validation in the depth we will learn in lateral videos now our model class is ready so why why we need to add we need to add now controller controller these are the different types of controller we will uh, discuss uh, later on uh, what are the controllers so before going uh, before instead of going to the any details or depth let us add empty controller empty controller now give the controller name student is yes. student s t u d d and a student controller and uh, remember that uh, while declaring the controller the suffix controller suffix must be there is uh, otherwise it will only recognize that it is a controller so first your controller name and suffix will be controller okay so click on add it will create one empty controller let us it is created one empty controller so this is a this is a uh, simple application it is uh, created in the msc now now let us uh, let us run this application what will happen because we have not created view till okay so simple way is uh, add the view is just go right click add view you can uh, uh, you can add view number of types but uh, for uh, understanding purpose i have created from here now are you sure uh, are you want to decide any uh, are you want to select any model class no uh, keep it as empty and uh, use layout page yes and click on add a button so it will be our home page so it will be our home page now this is this is home page we we'll define as this is a home page now now let us uh, let us run this application after uh, after throwing error we will uh, came to know why why error come so without fixing before it let us let us come error so application is running wait so it took some time so it will throw one error what error we will see so it is going 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 resource not found so why this is error come resource not found any cases because we have not configure the first url whenever the application is get started so where to define it we need to define under app underscore start into route dot config file route dot route config dot cs file here we need to define our controller our controller name is student it is stu dnt student and our action name is action name is index right this is our uh, let's see 
this is our action this is our action name and this is our controller name so we need to configure here whenever the uh, whenever the application is runs it will fire first controller student and uh, which action is this is a index action so let us run application again let us now let us see this is our first msi application this is a home page now this is not exit so this is given the server error application so ignore it so this is all about the views and controllers now we have we are not added model it we are not used to model it so let us we will try to use model public class no sorry public action results action action results student stu dnt student and this will be here so so and now define here because we are using model class here so using student student demo dot model you need to add the reference of model class model folder so it will be accessible here now this will be does not return means return view okay so whenever the application is first running now now define same application uh, same attribute again same action again with http post method http http post and define model here student stu and student model obj so this is a student model okay now uh, this is all about the all about the student student model we now we are going to create student view from the our student model class so why i added this this two one I, as you are thinking this action results will be run whenever the application is application is hitting to this student action results so it will be written empty view first time and whenever the it uh, click on any button or any any submit action happen on the button then it will be execute this this action so is this uh, this thing is follow about follow about the uh, sim, uh, uh, differentiating the two methods so now let us let us create add add view how i have uh, created create just a right click or we can add view from here as well so you can add view from here also okay so i will i am adding here so it ultimately take the names of this view student select model class select a uh, template which template you want to create that is create now model class model class your student model uh, uh, if you want to create partial view what is partial view we will learn in next article and uh, click on this reference script libraries use layout page okay and then click on add button so let us see what will be added here see what added here here added the complete form which which is used to save the details or post the details so let us let us go here click, click on here now in index page index page let us let us we will configure a uh, student and this student method will be first executed let us see see what will be happen now i will i will put breakpoint here and i will put breakpoint here as well now whenever i will start this application this 
event will be this action result will be fire first let us see let us see now now let us see breakpoint is came into this student method which does not have a http post attribute click on okay then it will be return a simply empty view which view let us see this is a simply empty view which is which is post by which is post by this action result method so later on we will uh, do some cosmetic changes go to the student.cstml view now go here is adding title title suppose i am using add student detail steve student details it may be anything as uh, we are uh, giving title in html page we can add anything here add student details and remove this one remove this one and now let us understand this one this is a begin form begin form means from here the actual form is started and now now remove this as well and this is a validation summary it's automatically added by our scope folding it is all these things now in last there is a input button input submit and value will be created you can rename anything that is save details or anything this is a button name so if you are uh, seeing this all the code there is no no server control here are you seeing any server control here no server control even button is uh, button also also client side control there is no run at is equal to server attribute so so how it will be uh, how it will be fast because it will not be any server control so that's why it will be fast it will not not any events such as in our button click all these uh, events are fires at at server level but all the controls are here on client side so so let us run the application let us run application and put breakpoint again here now this will not be fire let us see i will put breakpoint again here now this will fire now student will fire this will fire now so it will be return empty view f5 i will press f5 now now click on save button what will happen that's it we have said this validation in our model class student name is required class name is required so our validation is passed now enter some details i will add little what is a and a class will be now i am not a student now i am completely professional so i will add my brother name sudhir what is it so the class name will be 12th 12th now click on save button now let us see which method is uh, which will is fire this is a student method having the http post attribute is fire because now on button click the post method is fired now let us see the model class values are assigned here let us see let us class is 12th and name is student student sudhir what is it let us this is added here so after adding here we will add message here uh, by kantha media sudhir what is it class 12 is added successfully so wh how can we achieve this we are not going to database and all these things so simply we will add it in view back we will add all these messages in view back we will learn what is, what about the view back and all in a later session name is obj dot obj dot name or we can add messages like this the student the student student having name obj dot obj dot obj means object obj dot name 
obj dot name let us concat this one plus plus having name and so there was a j j of class of class 12 okay obj dot class class plus now plus plus added added let us see this will be our simple message added I click on this message message now press F and go to the student student view and upper this corner let us let us I will add another one DAV let us copy this one copy this DAV now cultured cultured I will add DAV here DAV sorry DAV now here I will add this class add this class will add this class and plus also I will add another class that is text success sorry success text so it will be add green color to our DAV now this is one that is what I added v back dot dot technological it will be this one message this is message now now run the application let us i will remove this brick point you already removed so run this application run this application now try to click on this it will not be allowed to fire the http post method we need to fill all the details so i am adding student little word sudhir word j and 12 and click on save button so let us see this message the student having name sudhir word j of class 12th added so this is a message from the our server to the view so this is all about the creating one simple mc application so i hope you all uh, learn a lo lots of things lots of means basics things and for more details uh, such a types of article on beginners you can visit my blog www.compilemode.com let us i will type here www.compilemode.com or let us see it in a browser a new tab that is this is one you can visit this section for more future articles on MVC and other technologies. Thanks for watching.